So in this video, we're going to talk about the top three apps which I use for my business. Well, just to be clear, these are not the only three apps which I use, but these are the apps which I use 95% of the time during the day. One is the brain, second one is the communication, third one is the managing part or the finances part to be clear. So part one, which is the brain. Now, the one app which I use for all this purpose is Notion. Now, I always use this, I always promote this not affiliated by notion in any way by the way but i have been using notion for the longest of time it has everything starting from my finances important documents affiliate links all the sheets charts etc of all my important other documents all the things which are very long term in general such as my courses my to-do list long term to-do list short term in a month or span of time to-do list all the things which are very long term in general are the ones which I use Notion for. So there goes number one, which is the brain. Brain is basically like the top part here, which manages all the things below of it. However, the next two apps are more important in terms of how I manage my day-to-day -day business. Part two, which is communication. Now for communication, I use this app called Rock. Now Rock is an app which combines task and messaging combined, which allows the user to spend less time switching between apps and more time collaborating on one single tool, which means that you do not have to spend time on multiple apps such as WhatsApp, Slack, etc. You rather spend time on only one app and just be more productive. It also enables users to keep track of their to-do list, which Slack is lacking behind at the moment as well as follow up and collaborate with your team with different kinds of projects it can be different brands also different teams also such as marketing hr etc it also allows you to have a chat feature which is not available on notion so let it be if you are talking with your team member client freelancer you can do them in one single space that particular thing itself is taking me or helping me rather to take my business to the next level because in whatsapp it is very cluttered to be honest and if i have to find something which is like two weeks old or three weeks old i will let's scroll down all the way up and up and up which is like not a very good way of doing things whereas on rock i can just you know have a task such as that one and have it in that kanban board and just click on that task and get all the files from that task itself we can chat on the tasks too we can create some bullet lists on the task as well. We can schedule meetings about any task or project. We can, you know, set reminders. We can have Google Calendar integration, Notion integration, which, you know, I already use Notion, so it is a plus point for me. I use Miro boards as well, so Miro board integration is also there. This app itself has saved me a lot of time. And also this is an alternative for Slack, which I don't use. The reason being of the similar limitations, such as the messaging limitations. Slack has now like the 90 days limit, which is like still not applicable for me because sometimes in some cases long term clients want a older video which are like longer than three months and that times this is a hassle for me whereas in rock it has everything stored up there itself and the rock price in itself is very cheap in my opinion it is severely cheap compared to any other alternative such as slack or you know whatever alternatives there is but anyway i've been using rock or rather rocking with rock <laughs> for quite some time now. Also, by the way, I have made a rock video too, which was like two years back. They have improved it significantly after that, but you guys can look at that video right here or rather right here, somewhere up here. So that video itself will explain you how the basics of rock work. But then again, I'm gonna show a rough screen capture of how the rock interface looks like. Let's go. Okay, so here is the rock interface. Now, since I use rock the most amongst the three apps, so I'm going to go through a little bit more detail on how the rock works. Now, just to be clear, I cannot show you all the things about my business because a lot of things are confidential. So I'm going to go with a sample template right here. So with this template, you can do a lot of things. You can chat here, you can put your task here. If you have any other topics, you can put it here. So the task is what I use the most. Say for example, I have any task which I want to put right here and you want to add the assignees or you want to add a label to it such as client a b c d etc you can add a due date to it the due date is the most important one in my aspect so i am adding all the details of the task right here you can add a checklist also which is like for me it is the main thing now the person who i will assign this task to he can just checklist them and just go with the flow and that is pretty much it for this particular part. There are much more details such as you can add followers to it. You can add attachments to it. If you have the pro subscription, you guys can attach a little bit more than the free one, but the free one is more than enough for starters as well. 
that's enough for this project overview once that's done you guys can see the calendar view right here and you guys can see the calendar task in this panel such as task one is listed on sunday that is one of the features which i like a lot and this has saved me tons of time because notion doesn't have this chat feature and it is very clunky also there are comment features which is very clunky whatsapp is very cluttered slack on the other hand is kind of costly and you know this kanban board is not really there on slack maybe with some external plugins and all you guys can get that done but why so much hassle when this software has everything on its own now other than those you guys can make a lot of other things say such as one is to one space which is like the personal chat with your teammates you guys can create groups which are of course the sample which i just showed right here you guys can make folders also right here say for example i have editing studio i have other things also so this is like groups inside of a workspace so note this word workspace this has the thing which is like new in this version the previous video which i made didn't have this feature so workspace is basically if you are working with different brands then you guys can make different workspaces for that say for example there's a brand a you guys can create a totally separate workspace for that brand itself now that brand can have different groups such as marketing, sales, communication, etc. However, here, if you keep everything in one single page, in one single workspace, that is doable. It's not like it is the end of the day, but it is cluttered, to be honest. And at the end of the day, if you are working with several brands, then it is not a very good way to keep it organized. Having different workspaces for different brands, different clients can actually help you guys set it up in a very simple and streamlined manner. So that's pretty much it for this one. Like, what do I say? This is like the easiest one for me to just, you know, recommend to anyone because it has a chat feature. This, this Kanban word style is extremely handy because I guess, because I can see the project status of everything. I can just assign everything. I can just assign the clients it is to if it is urgent or not. I can assign a deadline also. All of them are there in a free feature. Rock is the only tool so far that has natively built out both messaging and task. It integrates both with plenty of tools and collaborating with anyone is seamless with multiple invite options such as quick connect, invite by link and invite manually. The pro subscription provides you with advanced features, additional workspaces, integration with other apps and larger file uploads. Now part three, which is managing or rather communication. Now, as you guys know, I have a video editing agency. So I manage all my people. I manage and pay them on a hourly basis of work. So that is the best way for me to work with because they have their own freedom to work with as per their own free time. And I use this app to call it Team Logger. This is an amazing time tracking app. This captures all the screenshots where my people are working on at a very random basis so that I can see what they're working on. It gives me all the data of all the apps they're visiting, all the websites they're visiting, as well as things like which projects they're working on, how many hours they're taking for completing one particular project this helps me a lot the reason being i can just segregate and see which projects are taking the most amount of time and i have to charge my clients accordingly based on that i have to pay them accordingly based on that as well so it is just a good profit and loss statement for me as a business and it is freakingly freakingly cheap it is less than one dollars in indian rupees it is 60 inr so it is roughly 720 rupees in an year which is less than ten dollars to be honest so for something which does so much of things it is freakingly cheap so there goes my third app there are countless other apps which i use as well i use whatsapp like mostly for personal communication i use instagram mails etc but those are like some apps which everyone uses these are the apps which i use most of the time because my workload communication was on rock my other finances uh, managing part uh, time tracking part what's on team logger whereas all the long-term goals to-do list journals and all are on notion itself so those are the three apps which i use by the way my studio is almost ready this is like the view of the current stage the painting of the walls the carpeting is still left but we are at the brink of finishing it sooner or later you will see our desk tour our setup tour our studio tour our office tour so many tools are coming up soon so if you have watched till this point do make sure to check out notion do make sure to check out rock the links are there in the description below they have currently improved a lot they are freakingly cheap do make sure to try out rock third one is team logger also if you are using rock i have an amazing discount for you guys today if you guys are using this code while checking out while making your rock purchase 
then you guys will get a discount of the total amount to make sure to try out this code right now all of the links are there in the description below i feel if you guys like this video then do make sure to subscribe comment down below what you guys think of it i'm pixel sammy we'll be back with a new video soon peace out